نصلی على رسوله الكريم اما بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها الذين امنوا لا تسلوا عن اشياء ان تبد لكم تسؤكم وان تسلوا عنها حين ينزل القران تبد لكم عفى الله عنها والله غفور حليم او يو بليف ذات ذي ذا فينيشينج تاتشز تو ذا ليجل سيستم اوف اسلام Hence these advices. O oh, you who believe, don't ask about those things that if they are disclosed to you, you will feel annoyed. Don't ask such questions. By in tasalu, and if you will ask, hina yunazarul Quran when Quran is being sent down, tubla lakum it will be disclosed. Af Allahu anha. Allah has left over them, left them over as a concession, conceded to them something. I will explain. Wallahu ghafurun halim, and Allah is forgiving and forbearing. What does it mean? We find in a hadith that Allah subhanahu wa taala has declared something absolutely clearly haram, and something on the other side absolutely clearly haram, halal, permissible, forbidden. in between there is a very wide field of mustabihat so many things are not mentioned and one one you know at some times he, he is at loss to to say whether this thing belongs to this group or that group now if you will ask when quran is being sent down allah will declare it so this field of muba will become short you will have more burden and more limitations on your shoulders don't think allah has left them over due to some forgetfulness min ghair nisyan in these are the words in hadith don't think that allah subhanahu wa taala you know had some he just forgot to mention those things he has not mentioned those things as a mercy to you if it is declared haram and you commit it you are a culprit if it has not been haram declared by allah subhanahu wa taala then you can plead oh allah it was not declared haram i never found it anywhere in the quran in the hadith that this is haram so whatever is not haram is mubah permissible although there might not be any positive proof of its being halal The principle of jurisprudence in Islam is that everything is mubah unless proved otherwise. Unless it is proved, it is haram. Not that everything is haram unless it is proved to be halal. That would have, you know, very much diminished, diminished the field of mubahat. But this is the principle, which is absolutely in the opposite. Qad salaha qomu min qablekum. Such questions were asked by the people who were before you. Some asbahu beha kafirin, and then they lost their faith due to it. They increased their burden. What about this? What about this? What about this? And you know, an incident happened when Hajj was made compulsory and imperative. Ayah was revealed in Surah Al Imran. While in Nas and Allah Hijjul Bayt Man Istata Ilay Sabila, a Muslim stood up. O Prophet, is it imperative? It is obligatory every year. the prophet saw some turned his face to the other he doesn't doesn't reply he comes to that side because he was you know a very knowledgeable person he wanted to have all the knowledge so he said what about every year again the prophet kept quiet when he repeated the question for the third time the prophet saw some became angry and he said if i say yes it will become obligatory upon you forever 
when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, has left something, you know. Why do you want to increase your burden? By asking these questions. This was the habit, you know, of the Jews. And then, you know, one can very easily add to his burden, but to carry the burden is something else. Theoretically, you can add it to it. Add to the lists of duties and duties and duties and duties and obligations and everything first, first. But to perform all these things and fulfill all these obligations is not an easy job. Then you fail. مَا جَعَلَ اللَّهُ مِنْ بَحِيرَةٍ وَلَا صَائِبَةٍ وَلَا وَصِيرَةٍ وَلَا حَامٍ Now I can't go into detail. These are the four types of animals which used to be devoted to their idols and you know some she camel had given birth to so many camels. Now she is set free. Nobody would touch her. So in the same way, you know, Saiba, Ham, Bahira, from some, you know, he camel, you know, so many uh, she camels were fertilized. Now, now he is free to roam about. Just as in India, in Bharat we find, you know, sand, they roam about, you know, and nobody can touch them. All these things, you know, they were the customs of the Jahiliya. Allah Allah has not declared, not appointed, neither Bahira, nor Saiba, nor Wasila, nor Ham. Actually, these peoples who, who, who don't have any faith, they have concocted and they have attributed these things to Allah. And most of them, they don't use their intellects. And when it is said to them, oh, come to Allah. But Allah has sent down and come to his prophet. He will tell you what is halal, what is haram. You don't make conjectures yourself. They say, no, sufficient is for us what we have found our forefathers to be doing. We don't need any, any new sharia. We don't need any new commandments. Our forefathers were not fools. They were committing, they were doing like this, they were doing like this. We, it's sufficient for us. Will they take to this attitude even though their fathers might have been knowing nothing? They might have been ignorant. And they might not have been able to have the true guidance. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا عَلَيْكُمْ مَنْ فُسَكُمْ لَا يَضُرُّكُمْ مَنْ ضَلَّ إِذَا اَحْتَدَيْتُمْ إِلَى اللَّهِ مَرْجِعُكُمْ جَمِيعًا فَيُنَبِّهُكُمْ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ O you who believe, upon you is the responsibility only of your own souls. Nobody will be able to do you any harm when you are on the right path. It's very important. I don't have any control except on myself. Even the Prophet couldn't have what he wanted. He wanted Abu Talib to say and utter these words of Shahada, Ashadu Allah, Ilaha illallah, Ashadu Anna Muhammad Rasulullah. But even his wish was not accomplished. You don't have any power. But you have power on your own self. So you are responsible basically for your own self. Ya yuladina amanu alaykum anfusakum. La yadurrukum mandalla. Whosoever goes astray is not going to do you any harm. Izahtadaytum when you are on the guided path. Ilallahi barjurukum jamiya. To Allah is your the return of all of you. Fayunabbiyukum bimakuntum ta'abaloon. Then he will tell you inform you fully of what you had been doing. But this ayah was misinterpreted by people even in the days so early as the days of the caliphate of Hazrat Abu Bakr ta'ala. They misinterpreted how? There is no need of tadawa, there is no need of tabligh, there is no need of trying to convince people when you are responsible for your own self. This doesn't mean that. That is your obligation. You have to perform. But even if you have conveyed the message in the best of the ways, cleared it absolutely, 
you have not left any stone unturned on your behalf. Now even if then he is not coming to the right path, you are not responsible. But if you are not doing, you know, your job, you will be responsible. It was your duty. So, you know, Hazrat Abu Bakr ta'ala once he addressed the congregation that I, I feel and I am seeing that some of you, O oh Muslims, they are misinterpreting this ayah. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't make dawa and you should you shouldn't try to, you know, reform people and to uh, enjoin them to whatever is good and to forbid them from whatever is wrong. This is this is imperative. This is obligatory. This is your duty. You have to do. If you have done your duty, even then, if somebody is not coming to the right path, okay, you will not be responsible on the day of judgment. Even if he is your own son. But if you have not tried to bring him up in the correct way, Islamically, then you are responsible. So then he narrated upon him a hadith, Hazrat Abu Bakr read out a hadith to the, to the congregation. When people are seeing a thing forbidden and do not try to eradicate it, it is well nigh that Allah may punish all of them. Something wrong is being done. I see it with my own eyes. I don't say it. It is wrong. Please don't do it. Then if the punishment comes, I will also be included in the in those who are punished. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu shahadatu bainukum iza ahadaru ahadakum ul mawtu hinu al wasiyyat ismani zawa adli minkum. Oh, you who believe. The testimony between you, when death comes to any one of you, and he is making a bequest, a wasiyah. It is isnan zawa adli minkum. Two just equitable people, persons from amongst you, Muslims. A person is dying, he wants to make a wasiya, he wants to make a bequest. So he should call two people, two people who can be depended upon, mature people, just people of good character, dependable character, and make them the witness that this is my wasiya. How akharane min ghairikum in antum zarabtum fil arde fasabatkum masibatul maat. And if you are traveling in the earth, in the land, and that, you know, incident of death comes to you, then you can take witnesses from other people also. If you find, can't find any Muslims over there, what to do? You are on traveling. So, other non-Muslim can also be made. Akharane min ghairikum. In antum zarabtum fil arde fasabatkum musibatul maut. Tahabisuna huma min baadi salah. Now these two witnesses, they should be stopped. They should be retained in the mosque after the prayer. فَيُخْسِمَانِ بِاللَّهِ إِنِ الْتَبْتُمْ And then they should swear by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you have any doubts, if you doubt the integrity of those witnesses, now make them swear in the mosque after the prayer. لَا نَشْتَرِي بِهِ سَمَنًا We will never purchase we will never barter away this bequest for any price. Maybe the beneficiary is some my relative related to me. And we will not conceal or hide the witness of Allah. This shahada is shahadatullah. If we do it, we will be among the sinners. فَإِنْ عُوسِرَ عَلَىٰ أَنَّهُمْ but if it is discovered that they have, they have become guilty of sin, now two other people should stand in that in their place at that very moment in the mosque. Now they should testify. And they should be nearest to the king, to, to the person who died. فَيُقْسِمَانِ بِاللَّهِ They will also swear with Allah, the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَشَهَادَتُنَا أَحَقُّ مِنْ شَهَادَتِهِمَا Our witnessing, our testimony is more correct than the testimony of these two people. وَمَا عَتَدَيْنَا And we have not transgressed. إِنَّا إِذَا لَمِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ If we do it, then we are the transgressors. We are the evildoers. That we shall, you know, 
وی شیل بی پریشیبل بائی اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی ذالک عدنا انیاتو بی شہادت علا وجہ ہے this is more clear and more likely that those people the original two they will now bring forth the testimony in the original form had it been that whatever you say it will be accepted then you they might have been tempted to say something wrong but if they know that their oath can be abrogated by the oath of two other persons also then they will be cautious they won't say anything wrong zalik atna ya to bi shahadat ala wajha aur ya khafu an turadda ayman ba'da imanihim just possible that our oath will be abrogated due to other oaths wa taqulla wa sma'u and have taqwa of allah and listen and what does it mean listen and obey wallahu la yahdi al qaum al fasiqin and allah doesn't guide to the right path people who are themselves intending to be transgressing now the last two sections of this surah and they are depicting you know a scene of the day of judgment what is going to happen on the day of judgment as we have read you know in surah an nisa fa kayfa iza jaina min kulli ummatin bi shahidin the prophets which were who were sent to different nations and tribes they will stand up in the court of allah and they will testify as the prosecution witnesses as the court witnesses as we call them but even you know those prophets how they will behave before allah subhanahu wa taala how humble will they be and especially in case of jesus christ whom people have taken to be a part of god head what will be his attitude on the day of judgment before allah subhanahu wa taala so these two sections last sections of this surah are very important yawma yajma'u allah ar-rusula think of the day when allah subhanahu wa taala will gather all the messengers fa yaqulu maza ujibtum and he will ask them what response was given to you by your people qalu la ilma lana innaka anta allamul ghayub this is the humility they will say oh allah we don't have any definite knowledge you are the only one who knows all the unseen you know it what was the response what people said to us you know everything we can't add to your knowledge you already know it is qala allah ya isa ab now you know specially hazrat isa alayhi salatu wassalam just recall when allah will say to isa ya isa o isa ibn maryam son of mary uskur ni'mat ya lay just recall and remember my blessings upon you wa ala walidatik and upon your mother is ayyatuka bi ruh al qudus when i strengthened you through the holy ghost holy spirit to kallam al nas fi al mahdi wa kahla so that you spoke to the people in the cradle as an infant and you spoke also as an old man in old age now this word here is very important kahla according to the history jesus was raised or lifted from this earth to heaven and it is accepted by all the christians at the age of 33 this is not kahulat even at the age of 40 it is shab according to arabic language kahul kahl means old age this means old age will come to hazrat jis hazrat masih alaihi salam that he returns to this earth and this is given by hadith he will come back then he will marry he will have children and then he will die and perhaps he will remain on earth for 40 long years so 40 plus 33 go to make 73 now this is old age otherwise this word cannot be explained so this is a point for those who don't believe in the second coming of jesus there are so many people among the muslims 
who don't give any importance to ahadith. And these things, you know, which appear to them to be against scientific phenomena, how can a person come again and how can a person remain alive in the heaven for 2000 long years? Because these things are unusual. These are miraculous. Even his birth was miraculous without father. He was given the biggest miracles, the palpable, the seen miracles, which can be seen with the eyes. The biggest miracle is Quran. But this is not something to be seen with eyes. It is to be understood through your intellect and heart. The biggest visible miracles were given to Hazrat Masih. And there is a list coming. These four words appeared in Surah Al Imran also. And the relationship is, is Allam Tukal Kitab. When I taught you the book and Wal Hikmah and the wisdom, what Torah Tawal Injil? Here now Waw is Wawit of Siri to explain. That is the Torah and the Injil. Torah was the book. The law and, and Injil is the wisdom. There is no law in Injil. It is Allam Tukal Kitab Aval Hikmata, but Torah Aval Injil. When I taught you the book and the wisdom, that is the Torah and the Injil. And when you used to make from clay the likeliness of a bird, and with my command, and then you breathed into it, and it used to become a, a, a bird, a real bird, with, on my command, by my command. And you corrected, and you healed the born blind and the leper. Bezni, by my command. And when you revived the dead, by my command. And when we and when I hold, held back the hands of Bani Israel from you, they were bent upon killing you, crucifying you. I caught their hands. I saved you. Is Jetahum will when you came to them. With clear teachings and clear miracles. Then those of them who disbelieved, they said, Oh, it is clear sorcery. It's magic and nothing else. And just recall, oh Jesus, when I inspired the Havariyin, your companions, that have faith in me and in my messenger. This is inspiration. Is ahato here? Wahi is inspiration. Wahi of the book is revelation. So these two words are separate. Inspired. Kalu aman na washad bi anna muslimun bi anna muslimun. They said, we we believe. So you be a witness to us that we are we submit ourselves to Allah. Is Qal al now another incident. Is Qal al And just recall when these Havariyun, these companions of Jesus, asked him, Ya Isa ibn Maryam, O Isa, son of Maryam, Hal yastatiyo rabbuka an yunazzil alayna ma'idata min asaba? Is your Lord capable of sending down on us a table spread with food? A table served on it food. Jesus said, have fear of Allah. Have regard for Allah. Don't ask such ridiculous, you know, demands from him. In kuntum if you are true believers. They insisted. We, we, we want to eat from that table, which comes directly from the heaven. But that ma'inna kulubuna, and so that our hearts become absolutely satisfied. 
اور دیز آر دی ورڈس وچ ایون حضرت ابراہیم سیڈ سو ڈونٹ بلیم دیز ہماری یہ وین یو نو وی فائنڈ اٹ ان صورت البقر حضرت ابراہیم پرے ٹو اللہ ارے نی کیف توحید ماتا او اللہ شو می ہاؤ یو ول ریوائو دی ڈیڈ کالا ولم تو من اللہ سیڈ ڈونٹ یو بلیو کالا بلا ولا کل یت مئین کل بھی آئی ڈو بلیو بٹ آئی وانٹ دیٹ مائی ہارٹ شوڈ بی ایبسولیوٹلی یو نو کنوینسڈ آف اٹ سو دی ہوارین آلسو سیڈ you need a very deep conviction to become a real soldier of Allah on earth. You know, a shallow faith cannot give you the courage. You need a very deep conviction to be ready to sacrifice everything for the sake of Allah. Not easy. To read the ayah, it's very easy. In the Allah, ashtara min al-mu'minin al-futam wa'ala bi'anna la'ul jannah. You can repeat it thousand times. But to be able to prove to it, equal to it, is not easy. So you need the depth of commitment, the depth of conviction. Kala Isa, now Isa, acceded to their request. Kala Isa ibn Maryam, so said Jesus, son of Mary, Allahumma, O God, O Allah, ربنا او اور سسٹینر اب لارڈ انزل علینا مائل کا من السماء سن ڈاؤن اپون اس اے ٹیبل فرام دی اسکائز فرام دی ہیون تکون لنا عیدا لاولنا واخرنا سو دیٹ اٹ بیکمز فار اس اے ریکرنگ دی ٹرننگ فیسٹیول جسٹ ایز وی ہیو عید الفطر اینڈ عید الاضحی سو دس ول بیکم فار مائی امہ دی ریممبرنس اف دس ڈے ول بیکم دی عید from the people who are before and people who are coming to be later from the first of us and the last of us and it will become a sign from you and feed us and you are the best feeder Allah said I am going to send it down on you. But now, from man yakfur baad minkum, but listen, whosoever of you will disbelieve after this, after seeing such a clear sign, such a clear miracle, if now this responsibility becomes much greater, After showing a clear miracle, you know, no concession is given to the people now. When you know the people of Saleh demanded a miracle, a pregnant camel should come out from this rock, if you are the messenger of Allah. A she camel, pregnant she camel should come down, come out from this rock and this was given to them. But then now, if now you don't believe, then there can be no concession. All finished. So the same is the style here. فَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بَعْدُ مِنْكُمْ فَإِنِّي وَعَزَّبُهُ عَزَابًا لَا وَعَزَّبُهُ أَحَدًا مِنَ الْعَالَمِينَ Then I will give the punishment which, to him which I will not give to any from all the worlds. This will be the most severe punishment that I will give them. having seen such an open miracle with their eyes. By Iskal Allah, Ya Isa ibn Maryam, just uh, see to this time. And when Allah will say, O oh, Isa, son of Mary, A'anta kulta linnasi takhadunu yawmiya ilahe ni min dunillah. Did you say to the people, 
take me and my mother also as gods besides Allah. قال سبحانك ما يكون لي أن أقول ما ليس لي بحق. Now look to the humility. Who is he? Jesus. رسول الله. وكلمته. وروح منه. He will say, سبحان glory be to you. It was not possible for me to say. Of which I didn't have any right. In Kunta Kultuhu, had I said so, Fakadalimta, you must have known it. Talabu Mafi Nafsi. You know whatever is in my mind. Bala Alabu Mafi Nafsi. I don't know what is in your mind. In Nakanta Alamul Huyub. You are the knower of all the unseen. Ma Kultu Lahum, I didn't say to them. Illa ma amartani, except the same thing which you commanded me. Ani abudullah rabbi wa rabbakum. That worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord, my sustainer and your sustainer. Wa kuntu alayhim shahidan ma dumtu fihim. I was watching over them when I was with them. Kalamma ta wafaitani. When you recalled me, Kunta Antar Bakibale, now you were the watcher over them. Vanta Allah Kulisha and Shaheed, and you are witness over everything. In Tazib Hum, it's very beautiful. This is the way of intercession with humility. Nobody can intercede with authority or arrogance. Manzal Lazi is following the Huila Bizni. Who is that who will be able to intercede with him without his permission? Except with his permission. Now look to the verse. In tu'azibhum fa innahum ibaduk. If you punish them, they are your bondsmen, they are your slaves. Wa in taqfir lahum. And if you forgive them, you have all the authority. You are all wise. There is a plea in it. A very beautiful way of requesting. But not clearly saying, Oh Allah, it's Allah. No. The authority is in your hands. It's up to you. In They are your creatures. You created them. They are your bondsmen. They have committed a mistake. They committed huluv. They raised me over and above the real position that I had. They made me equal to you. It's their mistake. It's their sin. In tuazibhum faintahum ibaduk. Vain taqfirlaum. And if you Forgive them. Nobody can ask you why you have forgiven them. You have all the authority. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, Oh, this is the day when the truthfulness will be beneficial to the truthful. Lahum jannatun tajri min ta'atil al-haru khalidina fiha. Abada. For them, there are the gardens underneath which rivers are flowing. And they will abode, they, it will be their abode forever, forever. Allah, God pleased with them, and they will be pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wasalik al fadul azim. And this is the biggest success. Lillahi mulku samawati wallah. Wama fihin. To Allah belongs the sovereignty and kingdom of all that is in the heavens and in the earth. And whatever is in them. The other expression was wama baina huma. Lillahi mulku samawati wallah. Wama baina huma. Now here it's different. Wama fihin. Wama fihin. Whatsoever is in them, all the heavens and all the earth. 
وہ اعلیٰ کل شعین قدیر اینڈ ہی از پاور فل اوور ایوری تھنگ صدق اللہ العظیم و دس وی ہیو ریچ دی اینڈ آف صورت المائدہ بارک اللہ علی ولکم فرقرآن العظیم و نفانی و یاکم بالآیات و ذکر الحکیم